How can I get my child to have more empathy? What is empathy? If a child has empathy, then they understand how other people are feeling in different situations, and how to interact with them, including what to say and how to act around them. They can understand that they are their own person, and they may feel differently from others. This is a complex idea that even some adults struggle with at times. It does not just appear overnight and instead will develop over time. So can parents do anything to help their child have more empathy? Let's take a look. How can you help develop empathy in your child? Use empathy when around your child. Children mirror behavior from the people that are closest to them, and this includes their parents. Therefore, it is important that you use empathy with others, especially when your children are watching. Be kind to others and discuss your feelings to help them understand. For example, if you hear a loud noise and jump, explain to your child that it can be quite scary but that this only lasts for a short time. This will make them understand different feelings and let them realize that it is okay to speak about their own feelings to others. Make sure to check in on how your children are feeling and discuss their feelings with an open and understanding approach. Children will learn by example and then be able to do this with others. Read stories about feelings. Stories are a great way to discuss how other people feel and how your children can respond when others are angry, upset or excited. Stories with strong characters that the children will connect with are the best for this. Videos or clips of their favorite TV shows are also a great way to discuss feelings. If your child then gets emotional, you can refer back to these stories by saying remember when and discussing the characters, helping them understand how they are feeling and how others around them may be feeling. It is important to ensure that your child feels like their own feelings are valid and accepted, and talking about characters in stories feeling the same way will make them feel more accepted and supported. Allow them to feel how they are feeling without immediately trying to brush it over. Sometimes children need to be angry or upset in order to understand their emotions and learn how to act when they feel this way. Sometimes, children will feel emotions but will be unable to verbalize them or put a name to what they are experiencing. Discussion is a great way to tackle this. Say phrases such as I know you might be feeling upset, and that's okay before helping them work through their emotions. This will then help them to be able to do this with others, developing their own levels of empathy. Use role play. Role play or pretend play is a great way to act out scenarios and feelings that you can later talk to your child about. This is an excellent method to promote good social skills and an understanding of others. Parents can use their children's toys or dolls to act out characters and practice scenarios and then ask your child how you think each character feels in the situation you have acted out. Once they have an understanding of this, you can also flip this around by asking the child to act out a situation in which a character may be feeling sad, for example, to see if they can identify when people may feel this way. If a child does something wrong, many of us will often automatically ask for an apology as we think this teaches them better manners. While that may be, it may actually not be helping them learn empathy, as they might not understand why what they have done is wrong and why they should say sorry. Instead of asking for an apology straight away, take time to explain the impact of their behavior, particularly if someone has been impacted. For example, if they push someone over, point out that they are crying and sad as they have been hurt. This will help make this connection in your child's mind, meaning that they understand the other person's feelings more. Have patience. Empathy is not something that is simply learned overnight. Learning empathy takes time, so it is important to have patience. One day they might get it, the next, they might not, and this is entirely normal. Younger children are naturally selfish as their understanding of the world and what is going on around them is minimal, therefore be patient and understand that gaining empathy will take some time. Conclusion a great way to develop empathy and an understanding of how other people are feeling is by discussing emotions, reactions and positive actions through accessible stories with characters that they can connect to. Having worked to develop empathy in my students for many years at my martial arts school, I have transferred this to a series of books designed to aid discussion and the development of this essential skill set. Spend some time discussing each of the characters and how they may be feeling to help your child understand others.
You can find more details here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in finding more information on emotional intelligence, visit our website. Adventures of What do you think? Is it important to teach empathy to our children? Leave your answer in the comments.